Hi, it's Jess here from Nigeza Creates. Thanks for joining me today. So, <coughs> I've got all these leftovers from the um, journals I made for the Christmas Craft Off 2023 20, with Rachel Bella Crafts. So I thought, what am I going to do with it? Now, some of it is, is for my December daily. Um, so the little... Um, journal I made I'm going to use this as my December daily so I need a few bits um, for that but I've got like pages and all sorts left over um, so and also Rach has given us members of her design team a little sneak peek of a lovely winter kit so I printed off a few bits of that as well and I thought these would be great to use up um, some of the more snowier images because um, I'm going to make Christmas cards. So I'll show you what I've done so far. So I've made that one and that one and then made that one using the snow globe and the new um, sort of winter papers. So quite, quite pleased with how they've turned out. So let's uh, crack on and get some some more done. So I'm going to move a little, move a few bits to the side so um, I kind of know where I'm going. So I had this sheet. It was tea dyed on the back, but I don't need to tea dye it now um, because, I mean, I don't need, I don't need to tea dye it now. I don't necessarily need the tea dye bits now. So I am using um, a bit of vellum there that came in handy. Um, so I'm using some card blanks. Um, I tend, I use these a lot. Um, they're quite hard to get hold of sometimes. So when I see them, I buy them. Um, I like these because they're 300 GSM bases. Yeah, and I like that for the base of my card. So, um, and I like the white of them. They're very similar to basic white, the um, Stampin' Up colour which I really like and I often use those for my card bases as well so I always struggle they're never quite in the right place I did a little quick clear up I've been making loads and loads of prototypes I'll just use this um, loads and loads of prototypes ready for filming because I was um, um, I like that that looks good that Christmas 1897 although it does take most of it but that's that's the way it is yeah I was waiting for my son to give me a call he was having a um, carpet laid and of course mum's on uh, Mum's on call for that, isn't she? So, I'm going to... So, I'm going to get two out of that, I think. So, I'm just... making a sort of card blank size so we've got that we can see a little bit of something there or I might go for this one actually when I make one out of both of them but so I'm kind of just trimming the edges to give myself fur uh, that's got Christmas yeah so I'm sort of trimming it so maybe it went a little bit too far for my liking but that's okay so nice little base at the back and then I did a little tag so um, I've got some green tags but I think I want a red tag on that one so I haven't quite cut up my red tags. So um, these are the shabby backgrounds and I printed them 
two to a page so that the dots would be smaller um, because that's what I thought would work best. I'm going to trim it down. So this is a quarter of the sheet. I'm going to trim it down three and a half, I think, be a nice length. And we'll go to just under two and then I should get three out of this. And I'm making another green one. I want a red one. <laughs> it's been a very, very long day. So I'm just going to cut this in half. I was nearly going to do it four to a page. Um, but I didn't. Then we'll cut it in half again. Not telling you the sizes because no matter where you are, you're in in terms of cutting in half. Right, so now I've got a quarter of a sheet. I'm going to cut this now down to three and a half. And in order for me to get um, three tags out of this, I'm cutting it at two and seven eighths. Going to do a couple whilst I'm here. And then I've got them. I quite like that shabby bit there. So we'll do this one. There we go. So that's enough for three wee tags there like it because it all sort of matches so then i'm going to make some quick little tags with my new punches so i go for the middle size at the top i've just printed these on my presentation paper 120 gsm absolutely fine for going on the top of a card i wouldn't I've done it for a tag. I would have done it. Then I'm going to use the smallest one for the corners. I would have done it on um, heavier paper. I've got 200 Navigator cardstock, and that's what I print on if I'm making tags for a journal. But these are just getting stuck on the front of a front of a card, so they're absolutely fine for that. So just going to stick that on there. I'll probably move it over a bit so we can still see Christmas oh I've just had to um, delete some things because the storage was full because I have filmed quite a few things and um, I forgot to delete them <laughs> so uh, so yeah so we're just gonna ink around that ink around this I've used my deckled egg trimmer, but that's because I've got one. If you haven't got one, you don't have to do that bit. Plenty of rulers that you can rip with. Or maybe you like a smoother edge. But I do like it looking like that. And then I'm just going to give the edges a bit of a distress of the card. I have got some craft card somewhere, you know, cards and envelopes, can't find them, can't find loads of things. I'm going to give up trying to tidy up the craft room because I tidy up and then I can't find nothing. So I need to just stop in my organised chaos. I know where things are. So, uh, yeah. nicely so just gonna put some glue stick like that. and then go around the edges with the colour and that'll be good enough for a Christmas card most people Chuck them after East, after Christmas, don't they? So they only have to stay up for so long. And of course, whatever I'm doing here could be repeated for um, for a journaling card. 
So if you were doing a December daily, where is, I found in my sorting out of my desk trying to find something, I found my big bone folder and now I can't find it again. Just... There we go. And then we've got that. Now, um, this is where all my little bits of ephemera come into their own. I've got these stamps. All about that. Two wee curls. I think we might use them. Oh. They're cute. I mean, I use them all, but that's what I want to use. All right, now. So, like it. So, I want to make the little tops. Can I find the little bit of craft card that I used earlier? I say my desk is just chaos because... Of the fact okay. that'll do get a craft card so I want to make a little hole reinforcer might just go down here a few times make a few I'd managed to completely lose my half circle punch. Which, which I'm not very happy about. I've got two of them as well. So there is one floating around my desk. I mean, I'm sure when I tidy up, I'll find it. But hey ho, we need that there so we know where it is. Oh, we need to do a hole in the top of this. That's the wrong one, Jess. So, can you go that, that way? That will do nicely. So then we just go around there. So I would make these in like a convey about I'd get all the tags ready I'd get all the card blanks ready yep like in that um, I've got a little bit of twine here that I tea dyed that'll do so got far too much Yeah, so my son was having his carpet fitted in his spare bedroom, which is like his office. And uh, so, yeah, mum's always called upon. to let these people in, which is fine. I like to be useful. But it did mean I didn't want to start filming something to then get a phone call and disturb me. So I just made a load of prototypes. Quite happy with my prototypes, I have to say. So I can get on and film them. Might manage to get two done before dinner. There we go. I wouldn't want that on there. I like it. So it's nice having all these things already prepped. 
not sure what I can knock together. A few quick Christmas cards. And um, I like the idea of doing them junk journal style. I'd already made that decision. Normally I'd have made them all by now. But I might put a bit of doily behind there. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. Right, let's have a colour up my doily. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it really quickly. Where is uh, this? Is Walnut stone. I wanted vintage photo. Oh. Now I saw that earlier today looking for something else. There it is. Oh, so get rid. Just a much quicker way of colouring things. Bit of water, please, Jess. Give it a squirt, and then we'll just stick that in there. It's really dark, Jess. Not quite what you wanted, is it? No, not really. No, it's not. We wanted the vintage photo. I did you? You're right. Right, let's clean that up. Let's go back in with vintage photo. Do some smushing. I thought I'll use these on a few cards. Get the heat tone. when it's uh, still a bit wet. And then I'm going to get a bit of fresh corduroy. There we go. So I can choose either side of that. They'll do. They'll do for me. Oh, I'm losing me. Whole reinforcers. I made more than that. There we go. Right, so. so let's have a bit of that. And I'll just 
chest. Add a bit there. Yep, liking that. So. Fill this up. How many times do I come on camera? And this needs filling up. Two actual many. That's, that's super. And then I've got a little happy Christmas that I like. Now I've got strips of tea dyed card in here from off cuts from things. Perfect. I'm going to have that. Maybe a thinner one would be even more perfect. Although that does require my aim to be spot on. And it probably won't be, so maybe we won't go with that. And then I'm going to get my Gampani. Where's my stamp? A Merry Christmas. I might stamp a few because I might be making a few. There we go. Love this stamp. Somebody asked me the other day. Where did I get my stamps? Because they were lovely. Um, that is a retired Stampin' Up stamp. It is one of my favourite Christmas sentiments. But I think in a freebie, Rach did, I'm sure she did give us some Christmas words. I don't think I printed them. So, there we go, quite like it, and then I can chop it so that um, it has a bit of a border. And then we'll just do that and have that coming across there, like it. I think that's what I did before. Um, and I'm going to just pop these up on some little foam pads. I did save a little bit of nice cardboard. <laughs> I love it. Tracy Fox always pops things up on little bits of cardboard and um, doesn't use such things as this, but I've got them. So I'll use them. But when I run out, I'll certainly be using bits of cardboard. So that's straight. That's straight. So that's that one. Can't even find the other ones now. So yeah, like in that. Oh yeah, there it is. So that was, yeah, that was my first idea. And my second idea, and I said I just added a bit of doily, which I thought that would have looked nice on that one. And then I did do a tinier one. But what I thought I'd do is use some of this beautiful winter paper. So I'll show you a couple of sheets. So I shrunk it down to a page. So that one I've used on here and that's that's the other side of it which I thought I'd use in the next one there's these beautiful sheets as well again shrunk down two to a sheet and that one so they're not really Christmas they're kind of wintry but because we got these snow globes I thought they went really well with the snow globe so that's where 
that idea came from. So let's get another card out. Still not unlocated. This one I just ripped. Just ripped and um, inked and got snow globe. And I thought that would go nice up there on that wintry background. Thought that was quite cute. I also felt that um, a bit of vellum behind it might be nice to make it stand out a little bit more. That's what I did on this one. And I added a bit of ribbon. So I had this blue ribbon, which I thought was quite quite a good colour on the background. It kind of picks out some of that colour. quite liked it. And I got this sheer, which sort of put behind it. So it's got that sort of wintry glisten. That was where I was going. So I did get my deckled edge for trimming this off. I am getting right old mess here. Right, so that side's already deckled. So this is going up to just over one over three and a half. So go three and a half, we'll go a tad over. That will be about the width. Yeah. So just take a slight bit off top and bottom. There we go. It'll do nicely. And then of course it all needs a bit of inking. did want to just come in a tad so it's not totally crisp and then we want to cut our ribbon to the right size ish and then this one it's all ish going across there like so. So what I did was I just used a bit of glue stick on the ribbon to stick it to this. This is when you get so sticky and then down the centre of that. That's why I didn't mind about glue sticks, it's quite sheer, so then this will help if that is ever going to come off. We are going to stick this across our wee bit of vellum, and then that gives us somewhere to place the glue because vellum, uh, vellum shows the glue and we don't want it to. So that's that. Um, where's my snow globe? And that snow globe's going to go on at the top there. And we want a little Christmas greeting. Now on this one, I stamped onto with a merry little Christmas. Now I could 
put it to the side or on top of the antler because I don't think you're going to see it at the bottom. So I'm just, I think I might put it to the side. So stamping it with a bit of pebble puff. Might put it down here actually. It's very subtle. Actually, I'm going to cover that up. So no, I don't like it. I don't like the way it's stamping on there. So I am putting it. I am putting it up here. Sorry about the head. There we go. Yeah. It'll do. So, just need a light bit of this around the edge. Not too much. I'm going to put glue all along there where the ribbon's glued on because it won't be seen. I'm going to go under a little bit and over here because that's where the snow globe's going. And that will be enough, I think. And then I'm going to stick this. On the back I'm going to, going to use all of this actually because this has been printed on copy of paper. I thought copy of paper would be enough for sticking it on a card. Here's the other one. Was the 120 GSM. So the paper was a bit stronger. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. I'm just going to give the ribbon a little trim there. Did a rubbish job of that. Right, so now this is going to go on there. So I am once again going to use sticky pads. So I'll put two on the bottom. Two on the top. I'm just going to do one in the middle there. Ready for that. Stuck down on there. Nicely does it. So I think that is nice little Christmas cards. I'm struggling with these sticky things. <laughs> got so much glue on my fingers. So much glue on my fingers. So that one. So there we have it. We have those, we have those, and we have a little mini one, which I managed to lose, there. So just some ideas for using up your leftovers from this kit. If you've done your journals, got some bits and bobs, why not make some Christmas cards or they could be journaling cards ready um, for December daily. Okay so hope that was useful. I'm going to carry on and make some more and I will be back with you very very soon. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe.